Hello crafty friend, it's Trine, and I am here to share a mini album that I created for my niece. Um, she turned two this year and she took some photos in October and I thought they were really cute and I just had to make a mini album out of them. So I'm going to give you a flip through and then you can keep watching for the process video um, after I do the flip through. So as you can see, the front is a shaker. She, 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 she has K on there. That's her first initial. And on the back is similar, but I have a photo on there. But I'll show you that in a second. So let's zoom in just a teach. All right, so that's the front. And then we have the top and, you know, so when you open it up, you have like a top and a bottom. So for like the little journaling part, I put one autumn day, Cassie graced the camera with her sweet smile and play for adventures. So I have Hello Pumpkin stamped out here with like a little pumpkin. And um, this was one of the photos that I used the die to like cut this part out. And I used these dies from Lime Fun to create this entire album. So for the yellow, for the yellow, for the orange part, I um, traced around the bigger, you know, like around the pumpkin. And then I cut out six of them using my scanning cuts. And then like I used just a regular die for like these. But I wanted to have a border on all of mine. So that's why I did that. If I didn't want that, then I could have just used these as the, um, the the foundation for the album um for the stem i use this part all of these papers like the orange paper and a lot of the plaid paper you'll see are lawn fun this was a journaling card from um studio calico from I want to say like the 2017, one of those 2017 kits. So it was in my stash and I wanted to use it. So there we go. And I love this one with the grass. I did a couple of ones with the, like the little grassy border because I just thought it was too cute. And um, I used stickers from the name. The name of the collection is Farmer's Market. And it's from Cartabella Paper Company. I picked these up from the local scrapbook store in um in Atlanta I'm trying to get that glare off one of the photos don't quite know where it's coming from <laughs> but there's a, a scrapbook store called impressive ideas if you are in the metro Atlanta area check them out they are amazing so I got those stickers from there and um this is Lime Fun paper. Both of them are from Lime Fun. And this is from the Heritage Collection. And this, the leaf, is from Coco Daisy from last year's kit. All right, and then we flip up. Then we have some pumpkins. I thought this photo was so cute. I love the ones where she was playing with, like, the little pumpkins. Um, and this sticker sheet had like a bunch of cool little pumpkins and everything with this one i made a frame and it has her pulling a pumpkin with the wagon which i thought was really cute let's see i can zoom in just a little bit more okay yeah all right <laughs> and of course i had to have some lime fun critters in here y'all know i love to color so um this is like jump for joy this is from Simon Says Stamps, these leaves. I didn't want to use the leaves that came with Jump for Joy because I wanted something that was a little flat. And um, here's another frame that I created. This mouse is from... This is from... Oh, it's from Simon Says Stamps. So um, the Hello Pumpkin was from this and this little mouse and these leaves as well. And I thought this stamp set was really cute. Uh, Simon Says Stamps. Love a lot of their products all right this this page um i thought putting like the little photo tucking it into an envelope would be really cool i made the envelope using the love letters dies y'all have probably seen me use that um die kit so many times because i absolutely love it like it's one of my favorite ones. So I took the little photo in there and she's holding the apple 
and I just thought that was really cute and then we have this full size photo and I actually just took the photo printed it out and then I traced around it and then I used the exacto knife to um, cut it out so that's the last page and then on the back we have uh, it's pretty much the same as the front except for I added a photo and it's also a shaker. It shakes, shake, 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 shake. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that is my mini album. Um, I will be showing you all the process for it um, right after this. So keep watching if you want to see how I created it. So that's it for me. Oh, and look at how small this album is. I think it was. I think it's like just so cute um, to print out my photos. Ooh, I almost forgot. For photos, I use my selfie printer, and for like these size, I use just the four by six paper. But for like these, I use the two by three papers, and then I use the app. Um, I think it's called Pick Pick Stitch to put like all the pictures on one um, four by six or um, two by three layout and then I just printed them out so that they'll be like the teeny tiny size alright so that is it for me keep watching if you want to see the process if not I'll see you in the next one